hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna talk to you guys about some products um, that I picked up that are new from Milani I think I put one of them away yeah I did sorry about that um I have been a blogger for Milani and worked with their PR company now for quite a while so I I always get the emails and when the emails come through those of you that follow my channel or my my blog you know that Milani is my favorite drugstore brand so I am constantly constantly looking at what they have to offer what's new to be released and it's a brand I buy consistently I had seen that they rolled out some new um, palettes and I thought that was super cool they got some new lippies which I can't wait to get my hands on because I have I have about four of these Milani a more matte lip creams um, I'll put the link down below because I actually talked about it in a video with swatches but they came out with new colors so I'm excited for that but I did pick up a couple of products that I thought I would like to share with you guys okay so let's chit chat about the products the first one I'm gonna talk to you about is the Milani moisture lock coconut infused lip treatment I am seriously down to like right here that's how much I've been using it they all look like this and they're basically like a moisturizing kind of oil thingamajig um, there's several different ones that I could see and that I read about the actual and I'm gonna put the link to my blog post down below that you can check out because you know I get a little more detailed there <laughs> over here I'm like look just look at this but um that's what it looks like here so it's got a really interesting kind of doe footed applicator it smooths onto the lips really good I use it at night I use it at the during the day I use it all the time that's why it's almost gone and I've literally only had this for like two weeks and it's almost gone because I use it so often it feels really good it's not greasy it has some tack to it but it's not tacky if that makes any sense there's like some body to it so when you put it on it just leaves your lips really really moisturized I usually will put it on before liquid lipsticks like I'm using right now then kind of dab it off and then put my liquid lipstick on it'll smooth right on my lips will stay like fairly moisturized through the day without any issues I believe this was five nine um, six ninety nine when I bought it and I got it from Walgreens and it is small but this has replaced my lip balms um I was actually out of my normal lip balms and this completely replaced it so I was amazed at that the other two things are eye products um, like I said I have my eyes on the new Amore matte lip creams that I want to pick up because I really like the ones that I have I was not wanting to really pick up the palettes though I've been seeing them just because I have pretty much all of the gel powder um, Bella eyes so I just figured I didn't need palettes I'm, I'm trying to do this whole um, makeup spending challenge thing with my friend Beth I will leave that link down below for that blog post so you can read about it and do the challenge with me um, so yeah I picked up mascara things because we all know that mascara is the one product in my makeup arsenal that I use consistently um, so I got the Milani lash trifecta it lengthens curls and separates and that's what it looks like here and then I also got the length in seconds lash extension fibers which is here so I'm gonna talk about the mascara first when I looked online I seen this and wanted to go and buy it because it has a very similar wand to that of my benefit roller lash and I am about to be throwing out my benefit roller lash so I was definitely wondering if this would be a dupe for it um, because the brush is definitely the same it's just a little bit stuntier for the benefit roller lash whereas the Milani one has kind of pointed bristles to it if it makes any sense it is kind of sharp when it comes to a mascara wand um, so if I'm like rushing I don't like to use this mascara because I feel like it kind of like pokes the eye just because of the type of 
wand it has but I like the wand it literally allows me to coat every single lash um, the actual um, formula of the mascara however is a thin mousse like mascara so it takes several coats for me to actually coat my itty bitty tiny little lashes um, so it's something that I literally have to layer and the brush itself again like I said it has kind of a pokey pokiness to it so when I try to catch my lower lashes it can hurt if I'm going really fast and I usually just apply them really fast I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in take my glasses off and zoom in so you can see um, if you guys follow me a while you know that I have like non focus there we go non-existent lashes and it definitely helps to give my lashes some length I am using this in combination with the I mean you can't even my lashes are nothing I have nothing lashes um, I use this mascara in combination with the lash fibers which I'm gonna talk to you guys about now um, these lash oh the mascara was $7.99 I believe at Walgreens the length in seconds lash extension fibers look like this so they have tiny little fibers in it I think the concept of this is nice especially for drugstore you you may find um, fiber mascaras or you may find actual like lash fibers but they're usually not very affordable when you do find them and sometimes they just don't work this was $6.99 um, or $7.99 one of the two at Walgreens I bought it the same time as the mascara you need to first apply your mascara then take out the lash fibers apply the lash fibers and then set again with the mascara when I apply it on the fibers seem to stick to the mascara really really nice and I use these two together um, so when I showed you my lashes they were both used together they seem the fibers seem to attach really nicely but when you go over with the mascara it tends to kind of flake off some and so while it does give some fullness it really doesn't add to my length now that is specifically with this mascara if I use one of my like a fuller type mascara brushes so like say if I used my benefit they're real mascara usually it will help with the length somewhat um, so some of my mascara ones that have um, my colossal that really can coat the lashes that are a little thicker that don't have that kind of pointed edges that some of the bristles on this Milani one does it seems to work a lot better but it really doesn't do a heavy amount of length where you're like whoa look at that it's not a big difference but it does help to enhance so it does give me a little bit extra voom but not vo -vo voom you know what I mean but um, I like it now with regards to and wait with regards to the lash fiber extensions uh, my eyes are super sensitive so once I get if it drops in my eye I'm completely screwed I had to take off all my makeup because my eyes constantly water but if I apply it really good and then I kind of lean my eye my head down when I put it on so it doesn't fall in my eye usually it'll stay it's pretty okay this mascara is really doesn't smudge at all I can use it all day if my eyes get watery for any reason though I look like a walking raccoon like it's pretty bad overall I definitely would suggest the Milani moisture moisture lock lippy um, it kind of leaves a gloss type finish so very different from a lip balm but it feels so comfortable on the lips and this one smells really good um, I am going to pick up more of these because I love them and throw one in a purse in my purse because I find that I'm using this consistently over even some of my high-end lip balms um, I just love the way it feels and since I cleanse and moisturize with oil at night my skin just soaks that stuff up and loves it so I think that's why I love this so much and 
it's very easy to apply an oil type balm to your lips when you got a really cool applicator too um these two i am i have never been a fan of milani mascara none of them seem to work for me this one seems to work pretty okay but i can't use it when i'm in a rush i literally need to take my time because of the formulation as well as the type of brush it is each little bristle in the brush just literally has a pokiness to it so while it coats through every single lash which i think is awesome it gets the mascara on every single lash it takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of time to work through it but overall i do like them um this lash in seconds lash extensions extent Lash Extension Fiber um, is actually pretty good in its own as well. Considering the price, um, I mean, if you're looking at the cost of it and how it is easy and readily available for you to pick up, and it's from a drugstore, not bad. Um, it Will I repurchase these? Um, the mascara possibly I'm not too sure about the lash fibers I've only been using them for a couple weeks so we'll see over the course of the next couple of weeks if it's something I still enjoy but that is the deal on some of the or three of the goodies that I picked up from Milani again Milani is one of my absolute favorite drugstore brands um, so it's it's a brand I buy consistently and these are not bad um, these are kind of ah we'll see but love this lippy definitely i hope you guys enjoyed this video just a disclaimer i did buy these products with my own money um but yeah i'll see you guys in my next one and i'll talk to you all soon bye guys